question comes from Samwise Hansen. Samwise wasn't the name of the hobbits in The Lord of the Rings, wasn't it? Samwise Gamgee? Samwise Gamgee, right. Samwise Hansen wrote... Bit late for trimming the verge. <laughs> hey guys, my graphic card just failed the other day and my brother's inevitable response was, dude, it's because you didn't have enough power. Hmm. So, I'm wondering, what are the long-term consequences of having a PSU that is too weak? Can it really be the cause of all my computer woes? Samwise. Whoa. You know, I feel bad making that joke now because he probably gets that all the time. Yeah. The Hobbit joke. I'm sorry. Are your feet furry? We took the easy joke. Ugh, I feel so lame. We're so low. Actually. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> so, is he in trouble? Uh, yeah, look, bad power supplies create lots of problems. They create problems with data on the hard drive. They create problems with the computer running effectively. Can it blow out your GPU? Possibly. I would look first to make sure the fan is still there, but the point is boot, the card is dead. What you want to do is keep the card from dying again. Um, a power supply unit that's made to draw volts and it was designed for, i.e. you have this like graphics card that's pulling 160 watts and, and a 300 watt power supply and 175 watt CPU, this is bad. The graphic card will basically begin to act erratically. If the unit's built with the proper safety precautions, the power supply should shut down before an excess power becomes a fire hazard, but you may have damaged your card before you hit there. It's kind of crazy. Usually it starts off, your system kind of starts crashing for no reason. And, and it's not like, you know, it's Windows. Well, it, yeah, it actually may not be Windows. It, it may actually be your power supply. Um, if it gets serious, however, it might progress to things like hard drives that stop uh, causing that system crash or PC that just blanks out for no apparent reason. I personally, my personal favorite is, is the power supply maximum reboot where you're like typing say a term paper mm -hmm. say the night before it's due and you're like you know three lines from the end and you haven't saved in like 45 minutes the screen goes black and the system restarts <sighs> not that i'm bitter and going back to horrible places um the other thing to keep in mind is that a constant power on and off power cycle it's really taxing on the components uh if that aren't properly shut down that can help lead to data loss nearly component failure so if your machine kind of like lurps along mm -hmm. look a cheap power supply generally causes more problems than it solves yeah it didn't cost you a lot of money but you know buying the 70 dollar power supply instead of the 50 dollar power supply read the reviews online and always pick a power supply that meets or exceeds your needs um, in our collective experience is a good power supply is pretty much what all of your PC components functioning properly demand, rely on, must have. It's funny, I never think of things being underpowered. I always think of, you know, pumping too much power and being the trouble. Well, it's kind of but funny. I guess it can go both ways. I mean, you don't want to, you know, it's almost always like, I, I'd rather have a, a, a quality, you know, it's it, part of it's like, don't just go for the giant power supply, like, mm. it's a thousand watts, dude. Yeah, but it's from, like, Super Weasel power supplies, and nobody's ever heard of Dot it. Com. Well, it's so funny, right? Because a lot of they're, they're yeah, Super Weasel power supply. Dot com. I gotta go. Register quick. that quickly. Go um, Use the TEK code. The uh, it's really crazy, right? Because a lot of you, you know you're buying like the thousand watt mega, but the problem is a crappy power supply unit. It may do a crappy job, even if it's if it's if it's you're nowhere near its limits. In fact, a lot of crappy power supply units will not feed anything near the limits they claim mm -hmm. on the box or on the spray paint on the outside of the power supply unit. Okay. We're gonna. I want to see if like Anand or Kyle or anybody has done some power supply roundups recently, because it'd be really fun to see who's still building good power supplies. Darn it, we got to do that. Maybe next week, not the week after. Yeah. I'll make phone calls. Okay. I'll make pound the beat. Thing. Make it so.